Ooh, ooh. Yoink, yoink. Squirt, 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 squirt. The only way to upgrade, ladies and gentlemen, at the speed of four. What is up, the world? What up, peeps? It's your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things back. Mm -hmm. Playing some satisfactory. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I have made some improvements. Some new MK4 belts have gone in over on our way to our copper stuff and things. I also increased some of our belts that came over to our copper helix that feeds our motor factory that we built in the last episode. And so we're getting a little bit more copper, a little bit more efficiency out of all those things. So it feels good. There's our sexy motors coming in. Look at them, man. Peace out, motor. I'll see you later. We're going to do something with you later, homie. But <clears throat> today, ladies and gentlemen, stuff and things that are happening. Uh, we're getting close to the maximum amount of things being produced. Um, we have circuit boards, I do believe, and computers that we need to do. Also, you know what? How many deals do I have on me right now? Mm, 130. Let's go see how many reinforced iron beams we've got. Reinforced iron beams? Encased industrial beams we have. Because we can go ahead and get a little bit more upgrading done, I think. Not too many, but that should do it for us. We're kind of full on stuff and things, but not for long. Check it out. Let's go like so. This goes over to our Katarium plant. Like so. Whoa. Oh, I'm full. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yoink, yoink. Squirt, 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 squirt. The only way to upgrade, ladies and gentlemen, at the speed of four. You got me here, guys? There we go. And we're here. Over at our Katarium factory. How's everything going, guys? Going good? You doing good? Everything good? Quick wire? Sounds good. All right. So that's done. <laughs> that's how we do it, man. Accomplishing goals here on the channel. Wait. Hmm, I have some space in our inventory now. Do we not? We don't. Well, yeah, we can't leave these guys here forever because it's gross. So we'll take that one. And then I think there was one guy up over here, too. We can grab that as well. Let's take a look at our crafting deal just so we have an idea of what we're doing. I mean, I have an idea of what we're doing, but so that we're all ooh, on the same page. Oh, my gosh. All right. Grab that guy. Okay. So <clears throat> over inside of our factory deal, we have our little crafting area like so. And then we in here, we can see right there. Circuit boards are going to require wire and they're going to require plastic. Now, we're already making both of these things and we're making them I'm a little bit stuck there. We're making them in a pretty decent amount. Um, so let me take you over here and so you can have a look at what's going on, just to refresh your memory. So plastic, I mean, it's coming in up over here. Uh, we're making that from our factories back all the way over, if you remember, um, at our oil stuff and things. It goes all the way down over there. I got to take a look and see how much we're making, how quickly we're moving that up here, because I'm going to want to probably do a little bit of an upgrade deal. And then down over here is where we're making our wire. Now, we're making enough of it that... Hmm, I wonder if we could just use this wire. Yeah, we're using quite a bit of it, oh, taking that over to our motor factory. But it looks like it's kind of backing up. I feel like maybe we could just do both. And I'm feeling like maybe we could just do it right over here. Uh, plastic comes down over from this area. Uh, we could maybe do that on this side. Another little factory deal over here somewhere. Maybe right over there, actually. That might be a cool spot. Let's pop over this way just so we can kind of see how it is that we're going over here. Eh, eh, like so. All right. So it would be right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez, Louise. That thing is fast. It would be right over in a this really type area. I think that we're going to want to bring seven things over. So we're popping side of here. We go into our logistics. We go to conveyor splitter. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, like so. Bam. Uh, now we're going to have to do a helix to bring this guy down to the ground, but that shouldn't be too tough. Then one that comes over from our plastic stuff and things, and they can meet in the middle right over in this area here. One, two, three, four, five. We got a little bit of sand in this deal. It's not cool, man. We're going to have a sandy factory. Um, all right, so I'm going to build a little five by five out here. Like so. And then it's probably going to need... You know, a little bit of stuff underneath here so it doesn't look weird and wonky and crazy. Looks like it has some sort of a support deal. Much better. Feels good, team. Attention to detail. Uh, all right. So we're bringing over with Mark III belts our copper to here. So it looks like probably our best bet is going to be like right over into this early type area. Let's go ahead and grab maybe uh, walls and then wall conveyor. Uh, I want this guy to be like so. And then over here as well. 
We'll do this guy like that. We can go ahead and just nine this bad ombre. Squirt that guy right into there like that. All right. Feels good, team. Fairly decently. Yeah, it's all right. Well, maybe we just do this because it looks better. Like that. And like there. Yeah, a little bit straighter. All right. So we got to come right off of this guy right here. But I did figure out something kind of cool. Um, and it's probably pretty obvious. I bet you some of you guys already know this. But it's a little tip that I'm going to give to some people that don't know. Um, over here, we're going to go ahead and build another vertical item conveyor right underneath where this area is. And that's where we're going to pull off our plastics. So we're going to pop down over to this area. Dude, do I not? Have I not been here? No, you're kidding me, right? I grabbed that. Um, that's probably going to be in our way. We're going to move over just a tad. I want to kind of come down so we're like right underneath. This will probably be good right here. Uh, we want to try to face this in a nice facerly direction. But these guys right over here, we're using this conveyor poles, the stackable conveyor poles with the jetpack. Dude, you guys, this gets like ridiculously easier. Check it out, man. Oh, wait, are we out of stuff and things? No more concrete. All right. But anywho, so you see what I'm talking about there. You can stack those up so much higher, so much faster. Friggin' love that deal, dude. All right, over here, drop pod. No, we already got that guy. We just missed some, some little uh, minor materials around here. We don't necessarily need these, but we're going to pick them up just to be, you know what I mean, thorough. But um, yeah, so over here, way easier to do them in that way. What if, can I, is it possible to? Dude, is this all off too? This is off. I don't think we're going to be able to do this because my OCD is going to bug me a little bit about it. Can we get up there, do you think? I'm betting you, bet you we can't. Uh, Jetpack not strong enough. All right, so we'll go down here over here. I have a little bit of a ladder down over this way. Build some more concrete up. I think I'm going to straighten this out, like I was saying. I think it's a little bit off. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and build those guys out. We'll bring out our plastic over to our new factory. Upgrading all of our wire or conveyor stuff and things. I figured we would switch all these out to MK3s. Just because I think we're overproducing. Dude, am I going to have enough? I can't even believe it. I brought like 600 with me. I'm going to have to take another trip back over here, it looks like. Yeah, 77. It's really far to get back over here to where our plastics are. And it looks like... He's done it. That's all we can do. So we're going to have to pop back over this way. We should probably upgrade this to MK4s, but I think I'm going to have to let the game run for a little bit so we can get the encased industrial beams like that we're going to need in order to do this. Oh, that was a close one. All right, so let's pop down over here real quick. And just take a look and see how much plastic are we producing. It's been such a long time since we've been out here. I have no idea. All right, let me see here. Where are you coming from, plastics? I think we're producing a ton. All right, let me see here. What do you got for me? Teach me your ways. Uh, 34, 22 per minute at 100%. Uh, 24, 2468. So we're only actually producing, it looks like 88 plastic. I mean, we could produce more than that, but we're getting about 88, which is plenty. Like, that's all we really need is 88. Um, and that actually means, dude, I don't think we need those big belts, but they, they just help. They help so much. Where's logistics? So MK2s are really all that we need. Do we even have those up here? These are all MK2 belts. They're all Mark 2s. But I feel like we want a Mark 3s. I just, I don't know why. I feel like it would just be better. We want it to move a little bit more quickly. Um, it shouldn't matter. And you know what? When I was playing around with the, um, the copper factory, I ended up putting a bunch of MK4 belts up. And I was like, it shouldn't really matter if we have Mark 4 belts in there because we're only making a certain amount. But I will tell you that I mean, I think I upgraded to threes and maybe didn't really watch to see what the effect was. And then we just slapped some fours on there. At the end of the day, uh, it will move the items a little bit more quickly. Um, but if you're only getting 80 per minute, you're only getting 80 per minute. And this is this we're at 88. Um, I will finish up with the Mark threes just in case we ever like upgrade it. Might as well. And we have all the materials, so it doesn't matter if we use, you know, a little bit of future proofing there um, with these materials to make stuff work a little bit better. So uh, those guys are doing good. I have the helix up and I have the splitter on over here. Uh, everything should be ready as far as moving the items back down. Um, I really want to get Mark IV belts, especially on this trip, because it would be much, much more, more quick. It would be much more uh, fast if we were able to move down here uh, with those Mark IV belts. Dude, look how far it is. Where is the splitter? Dude, I see it finally. There it is. So there you can see there's all of our plastic moving down. Uh, and the Mark III belts should be pretty good for that, even though I think we only need the twos. 
But yeah, so we'll move those guys down over there. And then I think I kind of want to redesign this factory. I noticed that it's slanty. It's off a little bit to this one. So we're going to have to tear that down and fix it up and make it look more beautiful. All right, stuff and things are happening, ladies and gentlemen. We have some different... So I lined this up a little bit more differently, a little bit more alignedly. Um, I wonder if I can just in the interest of saving a little bit of resources and making this look a little bit better. I'm going to pop off all of these extra guys here. I'm going to grab you. Let's Q uh, and then go into our foundations. Let's grab our big fat giant fat foundations. Will you go under there, homie? Uh, feel free to. Yeah, thank you very much, man. Feel free to snap. And we can just run these guys along the outside bottom here. Probably more efficient if you see a little bit more space and less efficient if you don't. Oh, hello, Barrel Nut. Grab those guys. Uh, of course, bam. And then, like so. We'll squirt these guys into here. Already got that guy. Nice. All right, looks good. So the way that I decided to realign this was so that this area is basically in the middle of the factory. You got one, two, three, four, five. And then this area is near to in the center of the factory on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And then it, now it's all lined up with everything too. Like it's lined up pretty perfectly. There's kind of an easy way to do that. I mean, kind of, sort of. If you come up to something like over here. Hello. Dude, what? How's their bacon deal over here? That doesn't make any sense at all. So if you come up over here to my, my factory, I can see this basically snaps right there, right? So now I can take this foundation and move it wherever I'd like. And I know that it's going to line up with this right here. And then I know because this is snapped to all of these foundations that it's lined up with all of the things. So then I'm going to move over here like this. You can see it's all lined up as well. So nice little tip and trick for you right there. Um, over here, what we're going to have to start doing is running some uh, conveyor pole stackables over in this area and i want to kind of make sure that i have these nice and straight here i think we can put one maybe right here as well hopefully i'm kind of eyeballing it so hopefully these are long enough or short enough i guess i should say pop that guy over to there that guy over to there like so looks pretty good let's go inside of here walls grab a triple wall deal grab our mk3 or a mark 3 conveyor squirt that guy into there he's done it nail it scoops up and then popping over here like so i think we would go like that like this and like that. Now, I mean, you can, we could do like so. I just want to make sure that I'm lined up. Got to kind of come out like this. And then if we run a conveyor this way, we'll know. Right about, let's see, which way is straight? It didn't look straight to me like that. That definitely doesn't look straight. It's got to be like that, right? And then this guy, let's pop back up over here. And then maybe like right here. Now, this first one, I think it's going to be a little misaligned. We'll grab that guy over to here but this should be pretty straight bringing it all the way over to the factory what Grr, hate hate i even measured uh let's pop these guys off this guy off that guy off and then maybe come back just the touch get some of these leaves out of the way hello nuts all right now are you good are you good where are you now that looks like it's Perfectly doable. All right, feels good. We got that guy. We should be fine over here as well. Huh. And then I'm actually thinking about doing something a little bit different over here now. Let me go ahead and go into our foundations. Let's grab our big fat foundation like so. And let's squirt this guy over here. I want to make this building look a little bit different. And I think it's something we did in one of our other factories. Let's go ahead and maybe like that and like that. And then I'm going to put these all around here. So just give it a little bit of texture. We'll see down the road here a little bit later on if we can make this look pretty cool with this little textured piece there like that. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and select uh, this. Yeah, conveyor wall three. We'll put that guy on over there. This guy like that. Now, bringing our conveyor in. Mmm, stuff and things are happening. Uh, I'm actually gonna bring this guy in like so. So, because I'm going to bring another conveyor out like this to bring that all the way back up the other side of the helix. Please reach. Please reach. All right. Feels good, team. So, that'll work real, real good over here. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead and pop inside of here now. Oh, you need power. Hmm. 
But first, before we do that, let's go into our logistics. Let's go ahead and grab... Mm -mm. Let's go into our production. We'll go ahead and grab an assembler. Let me see here. So circuit boards. All right. So we're going to need 60 and 30 per minute. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, let's pop this guy off over here. Let us come around and maybe squirt this guy. Assembler. Like... Uh, like so. All right, let me see here. So we bring this guy down over here. Wow, that's pretty close. Yeah, we could bring that guy right over there like that. And then this, hmm, this is actually backwards. So what we want to do here, pull this guy off, pull that guy off. And then this guy will go over here. That guy will go up there. Nice. And then inside of here, we can bring this guy over maybe to there. Like so. Very nice. Okay, so power stuff and things. Let's go ahead and pop the power pole down over here. Where is my closest power? All right, power is on. Let's go team. Circuit boards. Let's see what our production numbers look like right here. 100%? That's what we're looking for. Let's just go ahead and let it cycle through the production. We're only making five, five per minute. Huh. And now we're splitting our wire in between um, this factory and our motor factory. We're only making 80 per minute. So we may really need to revamp this over here. But it looks like that it's working out right now. I'm going to give it a couple minutes to see what's going on. I'm assuming we have plenty of plastic over here. Like total unbelievable overproduction. Um, the plastic is simply going from over there into our hub. And if you remember, we're making 88. So there's like way, way more than we need. But the wire, I'm not exactly sure um, because I'm not sure if as we allow this to produce a little bit more and some of that wire to siphon on down this line, if that will cause um, a problem with the other line not having any. So let me see over here if that looks like it's backing up or not backing up, clearing out. It looks like it's doing quite well. I think actually we're doing really good over here on that. Looks good, man. <coughs> <coughs> and we're back <coughs> from the factory. Uh, math, you guys. Check it out, man. Our copper stuff and things. I'm trying to maximize a little bit. We got three smelters here, each pumping out uh, 30 per minute. And then up inside of here, this is one of our most compact factories. I really like the design of it in here, too. Um, I'm almost going to be sad when the vertical item stuff and things comes in because these are really cool, but it'll be a really big space saver. Uh, so 369, right? Splitting off into two deals, 45 per. 45 coming into here. We only need 30. I double overclocked this bad ombre. We're making 90 and 90 now. So uh, these are all level three belts, right? So we are moving 270 resources per minute on each one of these lines. Uh, and that combines again, wait, over into here. This is on level four stuff and things. Um, and then that goes up and is split into our two factory deals. So let me so go ahead and pop out here. We have a little bit of an exit deal in the interest of speed. Even though it took me so much time to switch this over, it would have been faster. Okay, so these guys now, that's a Mark IV belt, goes all the way over to there. These are both Mark III's that come down. The factory that's making motors is using 90 um, copper wire per minute over into that line. And this guy should be now that we've clocked it up using 90 as well and only 45 plastic. We've already made 74 circuit boards, quite a bit, in fact. Um, and then I'm wondering about actually running the line. Hmm... I don't know where I'm going to run the circuit board line yet. I don't know where I want the circuit boards to end up over there in the factory. Or in the hub, pardon me. But this little guy right here is, like, doing what it's supposed to be doing. Like, we're using the 90 wire. I actually think, for some reason, I'm a little bit confused, to be honest with you. We're making 180 wire, and we're using 90 and 90. We have a totally, like, a massive uh, overproduction of wire here. And it says 98%. But you can see... Yeah, that's producing. I mean, we, we're not using it at 90 per minute. And the other line should be being used at 90 per minute. But that looks like it's backed up and not moving either. It's a little bit wacky. Um, our bottleneck might actually be over there. We may not be using all 90. But that's okay. This look. I mean, look at that, man. It's working quite well. And the biggest thing with this episode that we want to make sure that we're doing correctly is making the circuit board. Um, so now what we got to do is go ahead and make this guy beautiful. So let's take a you guys, I was coming down over here. Check it out. Look what I noticed. There's a slug right there, baby. And I think we have the perfect way to get to it. Pop back over here. Like so. Make sure we get a nice run and start. 
Let's go, team! Dude, we're going to overshoot it. Wow, that was easy. Hey, what's up, homie? Little power slug action over here. Hmm. Now, uh, what do you think the best way to get back is? Probably do the same thing, right? Let's spin this guy around like so. Maybe up? <laughs> like this? Nailed it. <laughs> All right, I wonder if we can get back. Get the altitude, baby. Oh, look at that. Easy peasy. We're back. All right, the factory. I didn't go ahead and make anything beautiful yet because, uh, yeah. And then over here, I am thinking that this is going to be the best place for us to move stuff and things back. So what we're going to do is pop out over here. Of course, because there's some sort of weird edge, we can't, uh, yeah. So anyway, now uh, like so, and then like this. Pull this guy over here. Beautiful right angle stuff and things. Uh, maybe down over here, like... Oh, wait, that's a little bit weird. Like so. Over to here. Uh, that ain't gonna work. Pull this guy off. Pull that guy off. Oh, now we have circuit deals all in our inventory everywhere. Um, wow, well, there's nothing we can do about it now. All right, pop this guy over to there. Maybe this guy down. Yeah, looking good. And then where are you at? Uh, like so. And then like that. Eh, it's pretty good. Now, that guy's gonna come up. I've already started to run some, uh of our conveyors. I just want to make sure. Look at it. Look at him go. And this guy's already backed up again. Dude, we have so many, so much wire being produced right now. I mean, these guys, we really want to produce a lot of them. What happened if I stuck another one of these guys in there? Speaking of, why don't we just pop over here real quick? Production, let's do a little craft bench. And then inside of here, let's make that extra power shard. There we go. All right, nice. So uh, we doubled this up now to 120 per minute. Um, I think I'm just going to let it run and kind of see how it affects stuff and things. But now we're up to 10. So when we were down at 90, how many was it making? 7.5. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So then we're going to pop this guy up. 10 per minute. Uh, and hopefully that'll be a decent amount. Because the next order of business when we, we're doing stuff and things, we have to do the manufacturer so that we can craft computers. Um, so any though, uh, we got to make this guy beautiful now. We got to make our little area nice and beautiful, even though... It really only houses one machine. <laughs> it's still cool. I like building in this game, so we're going to build something pretty neat over Thanks. here. This factory actually came out pretty cool. Did a little bit differently. Uh, I think we're going to have some issues over here with some wall stuff. Yeah, it looks like right over here. So we can fix that quite easily. In fact, I do believe if we could. Can we wait? Or, or maybe we can't. Dude, can't we just get this on the bottom of that deal? No way. Wait, wait, what if I take this guy out? I thought I could attach to the bottom of that ramp but it looks like i cannot Ugh. dude can you really not attach to the bottom of the ramp what the crap hmm what if we go like this wall no that's not gonna work um you know what there is a way to do it i think this is the way that we would do this so over here let's go ahead and pop this guy off let's put this in right there now if we go back to our walls and then place this guy. We should be able to place... No, that's not going to work either. Hmm. So, I think the way that we would have to do it is to pull this one off. Then go like so. Pull this guy off. Now. Pop our wall in. It won't attach to the bottom of that. Hmm. Jeez Louise. There might be a way to do it. And the finale. Nailed it, Ace the KB stuff. Let's take a look at this thing. How can we find, like, a really good way to take a look at it? Oh, there you can actually see we're piling up over there a little bit. Let's pop back over here. Yeah, it's a nice little factory. It's cool, right? I did a little bit of... Uh, let's turn that guy off. A little bit of, you know what I mean? Aesthetic stuff and things. We added these little entrance uh, alcove deals. We added some ramps up into um, our doorways. And I think it looks quite nice, in fact. It's a little bit different than some of the things we've done before. And... You know, some of these guys look a little bit, like, kind of boxy. So I decided to maybe get a little bit more angular with this guy. The other thing that I really haven't done enough that I think adds a lot is using the... Um, what are they even called again? Under organization, the walkways, right? Um, all these walkways are really cool. Just adding a little edging around your um, factories of the walkways is really good. And we did that on that guy over there. I think when we do a new playthrough, once stuff and things are different, once they've added some stuff to the game... Um, It'll definitely be really, really cool to kind of like maybe standardize the way that these guys look. I have all sorts of ideas. I have plans within plans. But at the end of the day, check it out, man. Uh, copper wire doing perfectly fine. Copper wire over there, perfectly fine. Uh, inside of here, remember, 
We went ahead and did some overclocking of some stuff and things. And right now we are crafting 10 circuit boards per minute using 120 wire and 60 plastic. And everything is looking really, really good. Um, now, I did run some of our conveyor belt back over here. But we've just got to make our way back to base and attach the final product here. So, let me see. Like so. Maybe a little bit quicker. Ooh. Grab it. Grab it. Grab that. He's done it. All right. So, we can pop up over here. And then take a look at our factory from up on high as well. See what this guy looks like. Look at that guy. Yeah. It's cool looking, man. I like that quite a bit. Uh, oh, here right here is where we have a little bit of a... Yeah, we're going to fix this guy up right here. Like so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, those Mark IV belts for transportation, they really get you going. All right, there we go like that. This guy like so. And I already wired this guy or belted this guy in over here. Coming into the fourth slot on this side. So now if we pop inside, right there it is. And inside of here, we'll go like this, into there, that, into the whoa. Like so. And then do we have our little display deal over here as well? We do. All right, guys. It's about to happen. St ugh, stuff and things are about to happen. Where is it? There they are! Dude, super sexually attractive circuit boards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> like so. Dude, I need more light in here. Like, some of these screenshots I've been trying to post up, we need more sun, man. I really wish, uh, honestly, that you could just edit the game so that it was always day. I don't need it to be dark. It doesn't add anything to me. For me. Look at those circuit boards. Sexy circuit board factory. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Give it to me. You're on fire, circuit board factory. Looking hot. And then we got this guy over here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Feels good. <laughs> I love that they do allow you to use, like, all of the stuff, all of, like, your tools and stuff. Um, as far as your jetpack and all that when you're doing stuff and things. This is the best way. You want to know how to get a professional screenshot? I'll show you right here, guys. Just like this. Look at that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, his hands are in the way. Never mind. <laughs> uh, maybe not professional with his weird hands all over the place. All right. Oh, man. We took damage, too. Jeez, this game. Dude, our little area here is pretty unbelievable, you've got to admit. We got a lot of stuff and things going on. I love this game so much. It's so much fun to, like, do things, make things, make things better. Um, and, yeah, so I think, really, for this playthrough, we only have about one episode left in which we're going to go ahead and make um, our... Uh, what is the guy called again? The manufacturer. We've really yet to even do it. We can't even do it yet. We're going to have to build some computers to make it happen. But there she is, ladies and gentle peeps. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Huge shouts to people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Appreciate you very, very much. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time. And may the stuff and things be with you.